Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the basket master, and we have finished weaving up the sides of our basket. And it's now time to prepare and get ready to do the rim row. And we are going to do a process called cutting and tucking. So let me show you here. All right. What we need to do is cut our inside stakes flush with our top row of weaving. So take note, this one goes to the inside of the basket. This one goes to the outside. So we're going to cut the ones that go to the inside of the basket flush with our top row of weaving. So in this basket, because the weaving was basic over under weaving, we are cutting every other stake. See how this one, this one goes to the inside, whereas this one goes to the outside. This one's on the inside, cut it. So cut every other one. Right. we are around the basket now the next step are this we have the stakes left that are on the outside we need to tuck those in so we're going to fold them in you're going to hear them creak and crack they're starting to get dry we're going to fold them to the inside of our basket and if they crack and look kind of ugly because they're cracked that's okay, it's gonna be hidden. You will never, ever see this. See how, see that just, that just looks bad. That's gonna be hidden. You will not notice that. All right, now we have to do the process called tucking. And we're going to tuck this inside our weaving. I'm going to tuck it and hide it behind this row of weaving right here. So I fold my stake in and I kind of measure with my thumb and where I've marked it with my thumb is where I cut it. Now to tuck it, the easiest way I found is I hold my finger here and I kind of roll it around my finger and then I just slip it into that row of weaving and can you <laughs> there's let me do a few more and I think you can see it better if I don't have other other pieces in the way here let me do just a few more real quick and then I'll show you those ends are hidden you cannot see where the reed ends and that is the sign of a good looking nice quality basket and that's what you want to be weaving is a good quality basket to cut and tuck your basket does need to be damp I had soaked mine for about five minutes, but it's been out of the water for a little while, so it is starting to dry out. But I'm gonna do this quickly, and it'll be done in, done in no time. Some of those pieces of reed were really heavy.
just to pat down two more. Have you all been weaving along with me and making a basket? If you have, send me a link to your blog or your website and uh, I'll, I'll post it on my blog and I'll send some traffic your way. So did you see that last one here? I, I folded it and tucked it in, but now take a look here. They are all hidden under this row of weaving right here. You cannot, my ends aren't sticking down. You can't see them. They're all hiding and that's what you want. All right, guys, see you later. Visit my blog. I can't remember if I told you. It's www.basketmasterweavings.blogspot.com. And we'll see you soon. We'll start working on that rim next. Take care. Bye-bye.